Hello, my friends. Now we shall continue with factor analysis and move forward to using SPSS to conduct factor analysis on a given data set. Let's move forward. We will utilize SPSS to conduct our factor analysis and look for relationships between percentages of. Now, I want you to notice these variables. Disciplinary placements, African-American, Hispanic, wide enrollments, the percentage of economically disadvantaged, limited English proficiency at risk, and special education students for Texas school districts in 2011. Now, obviously, I did not extract this data set from iPads. Again, as I've stated, I extracted this from the AEIS, the Academic Excellence Indicator System, which is supported by the Texas Education Agency and available there. I used 2011 since at the time of this filming, that was the most current uh, data available. Our study will look for relationships between or among these variables. Now, between denotes two, between or among denotes at least two or more. Uh, we will use SPSS to produce our readout, and in the coming videos, we will examine and interpret this readout. Right now, I'm just going to teach you how to take the variables and conduct a factor analysis, and then in the upcoming videos, we will go through the readout from those videos and interpret it. We will just simply take this one step at a time. Now, I remind you that this is, a, this is fairly complex, but if you will stay calm, you can get it done. Let's get ready to look at SPSS now and see what we can do with it. Hello, my friends. We're back now and going to begin to look at uh, factor analysis. Uh, I have constructed you a data set which contains the percent African American, percent Hispanic, percent white, percent economically disadvantaged, percent limited English proficiency, percent at risk, and percent special ed. We have about 1,200 plus different school districts in this data set. Now, if I'm going to conduct a factor analysis on this, the first thing I'm going to do is go up to analyze. Now, as you read down through this list, you see nothing that talks about factor analysis. But remember that I told you that factor analysis is often called data reduction. You go through and you don't see data reduction, but aha, you see dimension reduction, and beside that, you see factors. So we will click on that. Now we come up, and lo and behold, if you will look, it says factor analysis. So what I need to do is highlight all of my variables, move them over to my variables section. I want to go to my descriptives. We always want those. I want my univariant descriptives, and I want my correlation matrix. I think that will be in the KMO Bartlett's test of spiricity, which uh, tells if these... Uh, depart from normality. That's, that's kind of cool. I don't, I, I will leave initial solutions on. Uh, I'm going to look at extraction. Nothing there that really bothers us. Principal components. Uh, most of the time I like to do a Veramax rotation. And let's see, scores, anything there? Nothing there. Uh, options, anything we want? No, we're going to be fine with that. Okay. So we've looked through everything. Now we tell it OK, and let's see what it does. It comes back with a readout that says factor analysis. We have our descriptive statistics. We have the mean, the standard deviation, and the number of variables in each of those. Notice that we have 1,230 different data sets. We have a correlation matrix. Look at this one going down, and it compares the percent of displacement to, uh, of disciplinary placements to itself. It tells you what the correlation between this variable and that variable is. That's a very neat little readout. The Bartlett's test of, of sphericity tells us that uh, we do not have normality. In other words, if it's significant, then we reject the, the null hypothesis, which is that there's no, no, uh, no, uh, 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 a departure from normality there, so we find that there are, some of these are not normally distributed, but we know that. That's not required for our uh, uh, factor analysis to work. We have the communalities. Here we have the total variance explained. We have some different neat stuff there, which we will talk about later about eigenvalues. 
We have a, the rotated component matrix is what's important. We had three factors. We will interpret this later. What I wanted you to see is, is that actually running this at SPSS really isn't that difficult. I hope you found this as cool. Factor analysis is a blast, and thank God for SPSS. I'd hate to have to do this by hand. Well, my friends, you have just conducted your very first factor analysis in SPSS. I lift my cup of hot coffee to you in celebration. As always, I thank you very much for your support. Uh, live long and prosper. Peace and long life. This is Dr. Dog signing off.